Prepare to witness a celestial marvel as Comet C2024G3, known as Atlas, graces our skies this January. Anticipated to be the brightest comet of 2025, Atlas is set to make its closest approach to the Sun on January 13th, coming within 13.5 million kilometers, significantly closer than Mercury's orbit. On this same day, the comet will also be nearest to Earth, offering a prime opportunity for observation. However, this spectacle may favor stargazers in the Southern Hemisphere, where Atlas could shine as brilliantly as Venus, achieving a magnitude of minus 4.5 in the constellation Sagittarius. Yet this cosmic event comes with uncertainties. The comet's close encounter with the Sun poses a risk of disintegration due to intense solar heat. Nick James, director of the British Astronomical Association's Comet Section, notes, it will be strongly heated and may not survive. But if it does, it could become an impressive object in the evening sky from the southern hemisphere after perihelion. Adding to the challenge, the full cold moon on January 13th may cast a bright light, potentially diminishing the comet's visibility. As the moon rises approximately 50 minutes later each subsequent night, viewing conditions are expected to improve for post-sunset observations. Discovered on April 5, 2024 by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, this comet hails from the distant Oort cloud. Its journey is a rare spectacle for astronomers and enthusiasts alike. As Atlas embarks on its fiery voyage past the Sun, will it dazzle us with its brilliance or succumb to the solar inferno? This January, look to the skies and witness the unfolding of a cosmic drama, a highlight of 2025's astronomical calendar. Observers in Karachi, Sindh, Pakistan, located in the Northern Hemisphere, may face challenges in viewing Comet Atlas due to its favorable position in the Southern Hemisphere and potential interference from moonlight. It is advisable to consult local astronomical resources for the best viewing times and safety guidelines.